You know, Father's Day is just around the corner. And what to get dad? Well, why don't you make him something? Why don't you make him one of these? A nice desk plaque. <laughs> I think this is so cute. And it's made out of clay that you can make at home. Now, there's some do's and some don'ts about this clay. So first of all, let me show you the difference. Um, I have a couple of recipes and they're on the website and I mean they're classic recipes that have been around forever. The first one is a recipe where your dough looks like this and it is made out of flour and salt, a little oil and some water. Um, but the difference between this clay and this clay there's a little bit of a difference in the recipes, but this one you have to bake in order for it to ever dry, and this one you don't. You just let it dry all by itself, okay? So if you're not into baking, then follow the no-bake recipe. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you how I made this little, this is the baked plaque, and it it's, you know, it could also be used as a weapon, <laughs> just so you know, because, this baby's pretty heavy and it's not going anywhere. So basically you're just gonna take some of your bake dough recipe and you're gonna create a plaque, a plaque base. And it could be as big or as small as you want and I'm just gonna actually have to take some of this off because I'm gonna need it to create the letters. But here's how I got that angle part. Oh, first of all, put a little bit of flour here so it doesn't completely stick. All right. And a little more flour on it. And I just created the ends by smashing them in, just like that. But the angle part, I used this spatula, and I literally, just turn this around so you can see, I literally just took it and angled it, just like that. Okay, that's how I got that whole angled look. Just like one of those plaques that you see on somebody somebody really important on their desk that has their name on it. But Dad will love to have this on his desk because it will remind him how much you love him. Okay, so that's how that worked. Okay, and I angled that out. And then all you have to do is take your dough, and it's really simple. You just roll it out and create your letters. I put I love Dad, but you could put Daddy rocks, you know, whatever you want to do. And all you have to do is roll them out and stick them on. Now, if you find that you're having a problem getting them to stick because you've been using the um, flour and stuff, you know, to, to keep from sticking to other things, all you have to do is take a little bit of water, dip your finger in it, and put that onto the surface and it'll stick okay especially when you bake it bakes up really nice so that's only if it doesn't stick so you don't have to worry about it if it does okay so basically what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and see so you're not sticking to my fingers that's how good that works you're going to go ahead and put your plaque together using the name or you know whatever it is that you want to do okay so next i'm going to set that aside for right now and what you're going to do is follow the instructions on the website on how to bake it. And I went ahead and I baked this one up. And then what you want to do is paint it, okay, one solid color like I did here. And then you can go back and paint each one of the letters whatever color you like. But I just want to show you one other thing, and then I'll show you a painting technique on this one. I made this one a little bit differently. I cut out a heart and then just put Dad on it because if Dad doesn't have a desk that he works out of, maybe he's on the road a lot and maybe he could hang this from his rearview mirror or something and be really cool. But this one, um, I did the same thing, the same technique, only I rolled it out, made the letters, and put a little hole on there and then baked it. Okay, so I went ahead and painted the base color, and all I'm going to use are some um, acrylic paints in order to paint the word dad. And as a matter of fact, these acrylic paints will go a very long way. So you just go in over the top, just like this. I used acrylic paints to paint the base, and I painted the whole thing, including the back, by the way, especially if he's going to hang it from his rearview mirror. And it just emphasizes the letters. That's all it does. Okay? And you just let that dry. And here's one more idea. 
this little handprint is from my friend Mitchell. And all I did is I rolled it out. This is the baked one, by the way. I used all the baked recipes for all of these projects. And I put his handprint in there, and then I made these little holes so that we can um, hang it up. But I, I haven't painted or done anything to it yet because I want to show you kind of a, a dry brush technique that's really cool with this. And we'll go ahead and we'll use blue since Mitchell's a boy and Daddy's a boy too. And it's just a dry brush technique and it helps emphasize. And I absolutely love that. Hang it with some string or some ribbon or whatever. And I'm telling you, Dad, this is something that he will treasure forever. So just visit the website and get all the recipes. And you know what? Have a great time.